Yo guys, what's up? It's Seabot here, and today ClashCon announced something very, very, very special, and that's Town Hall 11. Look at that Town Hall 11 in the middle of the base, and this is not my footage. This is actually from the footage that Supercell gave all of the people that's actually uploading this, but look at the Town Hall 11. This is an ancient Town Hall 11 theme, and they're going with something completely brand new, and I'm really excited for it, and I know a lot of people are going to be very, very mad, and some people are going to be very, very excited. So look at that new defensive building. Kind of looks out of place with the Town Hall 10, but it's going for an ancient uh, sort of feel uh, but that defensive building is gonna be sort of like an inferno tower um, but this is a close-up of the town hall 11 I'm talking very very fast because this is just completely new things that we did not expect we actually did not expect the town hall 11 to actually be coming up and this is the close-up of it so tell me if you guys enjoy the town hall 11 and what do you think it's gonna do for the game and sales for clash of clans so this is a close-up shot of the defensive building. As you can see, it looks absolutely epic. It has question marks above it because we do not know the name of it yet. Uh, but we're going to see gameplay of it right now on Chief here. And it looks like it's at the top of the base. And we're going to be seeing what it does to these golems. So it kind of fires like an Inferno Tower beam across the entire map. So you can see that the golems are right here attacking the Teslas. Now something is going to come up from the top of this defensive building and attack this uh, golem and completely take it out. <laughs> quite a high amount of damage to one specific golem in a specific amount of time so it looks like it's doing so so much damage I don't know how this is gonna work during the game and I'm thinking that some people are gonna be very very mad but I think there's gonna be more updates to come so there's gonna be completely new things to this game added and it'll probably even out in the end so this is really really exciting no one expected Town Hall 11 to actually come out so apparently this defensive building is also for air troops. You can see that they're attacking the dragons right now. It does so, so much damage. It's not splash damage right now, but it's like the Inferno Tower. Uh, maybe you could have it to multi-target. I really, really highly doubt it. Uh, but they're the exact same beams, and I'm really looking forward to this new update. And this is completely out of my mind. I didn't even think. It looks like there's like a little bit of snow on top of the town hall. But tell me if you guys enjoy this update. Tell me down below. I really, really need some feedback. Because right now I'm on the brink of two different things. I don't know if Clash of Clans has a future right now, but I think that a lot, a lot of people actually want to get Town Hall 11, but not too many people are Town Hall 10 right now. So leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. So this is some more gameplay. We're going to drop a goal from the right side here. This update was announced 4 a.m. my time, and it's currently 5 hours after the announcement, so I'm very, very sorry. It's 9 a.m. right now, but I hope you guys are enjoying this video. There were a few videos from people made before me, uh, but this is sort of like a full recap of what they announced during ClashCon. So as you can see, this is another replay on the same base, and it looks like you can see that the defensive building is shooting all the way across the map. This is like a mortar times like four, but an inferno tower. It's a mortar and inferno tower meet each other, and you can see this huge stream of lava just falling from the sky, it's sort of like the heavens, and it's absolutely crazy. You can see that the king is going to be using his iron fist ability to break through this wall, uh, but it does quite a bit of damage. I think there might be a bit of loading time for it to find a new target, as you can see. It takes a few seconds, and then it's going to focus on the king again. So in addition to Town Hall 11 and this new defensive building, there's also going to be a new hero. So basically, everything that we thought was going to be in this update, quote-unquote thought, the prediction videos uh, were going to be based on this update, and it looks like, look at that screenshot. Uh, there's a hero on the top right corner. We don't know its name. We know its outline, though. We do know its outline. There are three question marks at the top of it, and we're really excited to find out the name of that hero. So leave a comment down below telling me what you think that hero is going to be. I have no freaking clue. It has to be based on like a troop from the game. So what does that look like to you? It looks like it has something coming out from this back. Maybe, like, I don't know if it's a dragon or something. I really doubt it. But it's really interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. On the real, homie, on the real. Tell me how you feel. Everything I spit is gold like I got